Hello, welcome. This is Heart of the Moon. We're going to be doing a reading for you, the Gemini full moon reading. So without further ado, let's get into it. I hope everyone's doing well. And we wish, this is not a birthday reading, but we wish happy birthdays to the archers out there. We uh, just did a second Decante birthday reading, so check that out. And later on, we're going to be doing a Gemini moon reading. So there's two reasons why we're doing this reading. One is to, uh, like we've always done before, see what spirit has to say about Gemini full moon energies. See if they can give us a heads up, clear up any misunderstandings. And the second reason is to bring down the energies of the Gemini full moon so we can capture those energies and do a moon reading which will be coming up either tomorrow or the next day all right and uh, in the astrology Neptune is uh, been in retrograde for a while but it's direct we got a t-square going on this is like a hodgepodge of energies different energies one thing that stands out is a T-square between the Sun, the Moon, and Neptune. And Neptune has gone direct. So that's uh, something, that's an energy to pay attention to for sure. All right. Let's see what the hand of fate. Something here. Something here. All right, let's see the tea leaves. All right, that's in door number one. Bird flying. News is on the way. Some kind of message they've been waiting for. News is on the way. Bird flying. That's uh, Gemini's air energy as well. Some kind of message that we're uh, they're waiting on. Some good news. Divine timing could be coming in. Parrot. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. Someone will gossip about all your secrets. Well. If they're secrets, then they're not really secrets. All right, well, there's two two air energies. That's uh, Gemini energy. Two is one. Something... We have uh, communication coming in. And then we have a different type, type of communication right here. Some gossiping. So we leave one for the other. We leave the true energy. The true energy will always remain. So uh, if this is uh, which one is the true? Which one is the true one? Only the true one will remain. Either the parrot or this. All right, we're gonna do a little spread in the past that we've done in the past. It's uh, we call it the rabbit spread, the heart of the rabbit spread. But I guess 
guess we could still call it that. And uh, we here's the significator. This is Gemini. This is a card that was ruled by Gemini, the lovers. Major Arcana card, the lovers. Okay, and we're going to slide it in the deck like so. And then we're going to get a sign from Spirit. Then we're going to get two cards. Whoa, that was a... We weren't quite ready. I wanted to come out. Well, this is the first decante of Sagittarius. This is uh, Seven of Wands being on the edge. This card energizes the Holy Spirit. Seven symbolizes truth. And the Wands is energy. But uh, we weren't quite ready yet. Okay, now we're now we're, we're ready. Okay, that was quick. Okay, now we're gonna find the lovers, and we're gonna get the two cards flanking. Now these three cards came out. Is Sagittarius energy? That was quick. It's judgment. There's the lover's card right there. This is what we're looking for. These cards can. There, there's the two cards that we want. Two cards flanking this significator. There's the lovers. There's the ace of swords. Knight of cups. Wow, yeah, yeah. Here, here's our narrative right here. Thank you. That was a sign from spirit. That was a sign from spirit, and uh, and again, yeah, we uh, Gemini is two is one, two energies is one, right? Two different energies is one. So uh, when we put that significator in there, we added a little bit of randomness, and then we get spirit's help, and then that's uh, that's less random. If we get spirit's help, then spirit picks sends out a sign and then we get the two cards flanking this this so uh, we have randomness and then we have two cards that are chosen by spirit Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is bringing something, some kind of cup, into the Ace of Swords. Now these two cards are as one, so they they form a narrative. There's our narrative right there. There's their birds flying right there. News coming. News is on the way. There's the Ace of Swords, which is air. Nine of Cups is bringing in something. Now this is uh, water energy, obviously, but uh, some kind of emotion. Yeah, there's uh this knight is a beautiful energy. It's a charge. The knight has a charge. There's some important news coming in. There's some important news coming in. In and around these energies. There's the ace of swords. So the 
Knight, Knight of Cups is bringing something in as a gift. And it's the Ace of Swords. It's news. It's something new. It's something brand new. Something that'll blow our minds. Something uh, news is on this way. <laughs> right here. News is on this way. So there it is. This, uh, see, the true, the true energy. Maybe, perhaps this is the true energy right here. This energy goes away. This energy remains right here. News coming in from the Knight of Cups. Okay, that, and that's, that's, that's something... Like I said, there's a T-square going on, and a T-square is a test. So there's a... The moon and the sun are with a T-square with Neptune. Neptune is the apex, so the energy of the sun and the moon is flying up into the energy of... Neptune. So Neptune is going to process that energy. And it's going to be a test. It's going to be a test for our subconscious, which is the moon, and our consciousness, which is the sun. And you know what? It's beautiful. And Neptune is the bridge between... Yeah, the Neptune is the bridge between our subconscious and conscience. Our subconscious... Pluto could symbolize our subconscious. Jupiter could symbolize our consciousness. And Neptune is right in the middle and is a bridge between Pluto and Jupiter. So ne Neptune is a yeah, it's a bridge. It's a medium. That's the word I was looking for. Like the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is is a medium between the lower and higher realms. And Neptune and the Holy Spirit is very similar. Neptune is the medium between the subconscious and our consciousness. So Neptune is a is a is dreamlike energy. Neptune can put something like a dream can put something in our subconscious to review, to ponder over. And Neptune can put something in our consciousness to ponder as well. Like, uh, have you ever gotten something like, have you ever been sleeping and then you kind of wake up and then, but you're not awake. You're, you're uh, halfway in between the dream world and you're awake. Sometimes, sometimes you get a, sometimes you can get a moment. Sometimes you can get a flash of something. Sometimes things can become clear in that moment. That's when the energy of Neptune, when we're in between the world of the dream world and the and reality, Neptune speaks to us, and actually the divine speaks to us. Neptune kind of when we're in that stage. Neptune can 
give us something, can give us some information. So that's the function of Neptune, okay? So here's, uh, here's what the cards are telling me. That being said, Neptune is, this is Neptune. This is Neptune coming in like the Net of Cups and bringing us something. Like as if it's from the dream world, like giving us information. Whatever we've been thinking on, this information or this illumination is something new. It's something like a brand new idea. And uh, Neptune, Neptune comes in as the Knight of Cups, bringing it onto our shore, bringing it into our consciousness, actually. This is our consciousness. Well, it, it's something of, the Ace of Swords is something of the mind. But, uh, Considering the energies of the Gemini full moon and this card and the cards, this is telling me that's in the consciousness. So Neptune is going to give us something. It's going to deliver some information to us right directly to our consciousness. Like news is on its way. Now this is uh, really general. We can generalize this. It's very general. These tea leaves are mostly general. Uh, but the, in, in the reading, this is being more specific. So uh, basically, ne yeah, Neptune will communicate with us when we're half in the dream world and half in reality. That's when Neptune can bubble information up to us. Perhaps a dream, perhaps a vision. That's when Neptune can deliver a message for us right here. In the guise of the Knight of Cups. Because, uh, yeah, that actually, that's actually quite beautiful. If this is square between Neptune and the Sun and the Moon, and if Neptune is the bridge between our subconscious and consciousness, then it is, it's going to be something like that. Neptune is going to give us uh, some kind of vision, or some kind of information, and it's something new. It's the Gemini. That's part of Gemini's energy as well. Gemini's ruler is Mercury. Mercury has been known to talk directly to give information indirectly and directly like with uh, the angel Gabriel Mercury's energy and the angel Gabriel's energies are virtually the same are mirrors of each other well Mercury is more like a mirror from a reflection of uh, of uh, the angel Gabriel And uh, the angel Gabriel has been known to pass on direct information, like with uh, uh, Mary, the Virgin Mary, and to uh, Muhammad. So, uh, yeah, angel, the angel Gabriel can either talk, talk directly to us or indirectly. Like through dreams, like uh, yeah, the angel Gabriel gave a dream to uh, Joseph. So that's yeah, exactly. That's one way. So yeah, and that's the process. What's that's what's happening right now in the T square. 
Beautiful. So, uh, according to this reading, something about Neptune and perhaps Angel, the Archangel Gabriel's energy is either we're going to have direct communication or some information is going to be passed on to us in a dream. Wow. There it is. There you go. Knight of Cups. There's something right here. There's the information. Wow, beautiful. All right. So that was quick. Now, this is the nomadic or we weren't quite ready for uh, this is the nomadic oracle from John Malik so there it is now we're ready emergence <laughs> consciousness in the family of transition emergence Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, there's a... Uh, there's a... Uh, there's some actually some angelic beings right here. And there's a... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's something. See, yeah, there's... There's uh, some angelic beings right here, and there's uh, the white here is illumination, and here's a a being on the earth. So here's earth and heaven right here. Yeah, exactly what what we were, we discussed and what the car said. Thank you, spirit. Wow, there's going to be some kind of illumination, some kind of news that we're going to get could be getting through dreams or through direct communication through Neptune and perhaps the Archangel Gabriel wow beautiful let's see what, uh, let's see what the book has to say about that Emergence. Three. Emergence. The completion of a step in your journey or a sense of affirmation with a strong suggestion that the work you have been doing is now bearing fruit. Beautiful. Okay, the creative consciousness. A step in transition has been resolved. This could be the completion of a subtle step on the path or an earth shattering epiphany, but either way, it will be highly significant it may bring both peace and clarity. Yeah, beautiful. That was the yeah, that was the whole discussion right there. Thank you, Spirit. Now this is in the air. Suggests that new information is on its way, which might herald a resolution or promote a breakthrough. <laughs> well, uh, you know, say any more? So there it is. That's how fast Jupiter's energy, uh, Gemini's energy is. Uh, Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius. There it is. Some kind of resolution on something. Some kind of news. Something that will blow our minds. 
like a new something new in our consciousness it's going to be from neptune or from the archangel gabriel We've got some news coming in the true energy remains well this has been the gemini full moon reading and our intention was to see what spirit has to say about those energies give us a heads up <laughs> exactly yeah give us a heads up clear up any misunderstandings resolve anything <laughs> Deliver some news and put it into a timeless message. And the second reason was to draw down those energies so we can make a Gemini moon reading coming up. Well, thank you, Spirit, and happy holidays, everyone. Take care.